hello friends in this video we are going to discuss about the how to use the excel sheet for the calculation of the one way slab okay so here we are not going to design it first but just we are going to use the formula which are used for the calculation of the uh, one way slab so that we are going to insert in the excel sheet and we are going to demonstrate how how we use the excel sheet for how we prepare the excel sheet for the design of the uh, one way slab okay so these are the some of the given data are there so okay, in that we have the span long span that is 7 meter short span 3 meter and uh, live load is 4 kiloton and fck that is grade of concrete he has given the 20 m25 grade it is he has given that is 25 newton per mm square and uh, grade of steel is fe415 okay that we can write here grade of concrete and uh, grade of steel okay so these are the fck and fy are the grade of concrete and steel respectively and then we will consider here 15 mm cover since i have graded this excel in terms of meter i will put the all the values in meter if you want to you can make it in the mm also and you can all the rest, um, calculations with respect to mm you have to do that right so now as we know the design of the slab for the width we will consider as the always 1 meter as the or we can say 1000 mm and uh, to calculation of the effective length or the effective span that is lx by uh, that is lx shorter span plus uh, support thickness that is uh, lx here it is the plus support thickness that is 0.23 and next it will be lx plus our uh, effective effective span that it is 150 so minimum of this we will consider that is 3.15 meter okay so this is how we can consider what i did is equal to first whenever we start with the new equation we go with the equal to sign lx that is uh, 3 meter it is there divided by sorry plus wall thickness and next it is less than lx plus effective depth so this is how it can be calculated so after this we will consider the minimum of these two so minimum of this is 3.15 meter so now we will calculate the uh, effect uh, span ratio so that whether we will consider it should be a single one way or two way slab right span ratio l by by l x we will consider this is l y is what longer span we will always consider it l y and span, shorter span we will consider it as the l x okay this is 2.3 so this is greater than 2 so in that case what it should be it should be one way slab right yeah here i have mentioned it is one way slab yes here i have used the if command you can see this formulas you can see the formula here if this is greater than 2 it should be written as the one way slab otherwise it should be written as the two way slab right so in that case what will happen if this case becomes the two it will become the two way slab we have to design as the two way slab right less than two right so this is how it will be if command it is uh, working as i have explained in the uh, previous video right so next is effective depth so it will be as per the is code is 456 as per the is 45 6 2000 it is 
recommended as effective depth for the slab will be L by 20. So using this, so you consider the minimum span and I have given the 15 mm cover for this and uh, considering the 8 mm dia bar, we will calculate till the effective overall depth will be 170 nearly. So we will consider it as the 170 mm and effective depth is 151 mm. So next step is calculation of the load. So self first is calculation of the sulphate. As we know the calculation of the sulphate, it will be in, uh, in slab, slab design, we go for the kilonewton per meter square design. Right. So in that case, we will require the only thickness of the slab and density. We will multiply with the density. As we know the concrete density is 25 and the total thickness of the slab is 170. Uh, click it here into 25. You can write. This will be, if I change anything here, depth, it will be directly automatically change the sulphate of the, and this, as I already mentioned, it is here, given that it is there, 4 km, that is the live load, so here we will directly take on that reference from that cell, okay, and uh, we are assuming the floor finish as 1 km, so here, I am used the one one more command as the sum summation of com, summation command that is equal to sum into bracket what you are going to do dash equal to s u m once it is written you can see as sum formula open the bracket you can first drag it from one to last cell right till where you want to add the cell and then you can enter or you can also use it like uh, is equal to sum this comma you have to type comma this comma this equal to like this or you can use the this plus plus like this so anyway any one method you can use better I go with the sum command this will be the short um, easiest way to use this command excel sheet ok so these are the inbuilt commands are there some of the mathematical formulas so we can go with that and next is our factor load how we calculate the factor load it is 1.5 times the total load that is 1.5 into total load so this is how will be my factored load next will be the my calculation of the movement so our formula is what calculation of the movement formula is w u into Le square divided by 8. So this is the my mu formula, right? So using this formula, I can easily calculate that is uh, this wu into Le. Here it is there 3.15 raised to 2 divided by 8. So this will be my mu is 17 kilonewton meter and for this AST formula I have to write right so we write the AST formula here AST is the area of steel required as per the IS code is equal to S 0.5 S into FCK by FY S into B into D S into bracket 1 minus square root of 1 minus 4.6 MU by FCK 1 minus MU FCK B D square S 
this was the formula to calculate the area of steel right so this is the formula which i can use for the calculation of the ast so this will be i will write here first ast is equal to okay delete this so i will insert the values of 0.5 0.5 u into okay fck it is there and divided by fy into b is 1000 into d d is our this one into 1000 i have because of why i am doing the 1000 because this is in my meter right so my value of the effective depth d is in meter so i have taken i will multiply with the 1000 f by y of ck into b into d okay uh, after that into bracket 1 minus square root of s q r t s square root function it is there for the excel we will use s q r t function double click it again 1 minus m u 1 minus 4.6 into c s m u it is there into 10 raised to 6 divided by f c k divided by into bracket f c k into b is 1000 into d is This will become the my AST is C27.618. So what I did here, I just inserted the values of FCK, FY by giving the reference cells, right? Reference to the those cells which which were wherever the values are there, and according to that, just multiplying with uh, using the all the keys which are used to calculate calculation normal calculation, right? And then I got the value that. Okay, you can you even recheck using your calculator whether you have did it wrong, correct or wrong. Okay, next step is minimum steel calculation as per IS 456. AST minimum is uh, this is 0.12 percent of BD. So that is 0.12 percent of BD is 0. Point is equal to 0.12 by 100 into B is always thousand for this into D is here C K B D into thousand. Okay, so this will be my one eighty one. So check with the we are going to compare here for this whether we have to go for the minimum steel or steel required. Okay, when we are going to go for the minimum steel, if it is minimum steel is greater than the AST required, right? But here AST is less, uh, greater than the AST minimum. So in that case, we go with the. We are going to calculate the reinforcement for this one, right? Spacing calculation can be calculated using the thousand. Spacing calculation is doing here. Okay. Here we consider the eight mm dia bar. Okay. For the eight mm dia bar, so calculation of this uh, spacing is what? Spacing formula is S V. That we consider this as the spacing. S is equal to 
the old formula is 1000 into small ast divided by capital ast small ast is diameter of uh, each bar diameter of the single bar that is 8 mm square 8 mm bar okay that we will consider here 1000 into so pi by 4 into 8 square divided by this one so it is giving me the 153.7 meter so whatever the spacing I have to provide it should be less than this so I can go for I can use it for the 125 mm 8 mm diapers since it is a so one way slab I have my, my main reinforcement it should be along this shorter span ok and uh, my distribution steel for this again we will consider the 6 mm diapers and same formula as formula 1000 AST by small AST so in here capital AST will be my here capital AST will be AST minimum or AST minimum ok so capital AST should be our AST minimum so it should be like this ok so this is how we are going to calculate the or you can use the floor formula is equal to floor so it it will be comma 25 so significance means it is going to round off up to the into interval of multiples of 25 so it will be giving me so if I this is 140 in that case it will showing showing you that 125 mm so 20, every 25 mm interval it is going to round off for the lowest value so like this you can use the floor formula or your digit you can make it anything so like this we can calculate easily so just we will check here by the changing the values 6 by 2 cs once I change the values so everything will be changed our loading will be changed here self weight of the beam sorry self weight of the slab is changed for finish after that our we can see here MU is changed according to MU AST minimum AST minimum is there according to this spacing has, is changed properly see here it is 168.4 it is there you, I have used this four formula for 25 it has changed to multiple of 50 if I make it 50 so what will happen it will become 50 itself into multiples of 50 it is going to change it like this it can be see here it is 133 it is there so it become this so if I make it here I will show you here by making it 50 it will give you the 200 value like this it can be calculated and excel sheet can be used so it it will save your time for the calculation easy and it will be very easy for the calculation right okay this is how we will calculate it okay thank you